Well, here we go again with the composite transformations. This time it's going to be a little different. We're going to take this little pre-image and we're going to perform a composite transformation. Then we're going to go back to the same pre-image and reverse the order. Let's see how it turns out. Good experiment. Now, we'll just refer to this whole triangle as, oh, we'll just call it triangle A. I'm not going to name the vertices. I suppose it would be polite to at least write down the coordinates. We can see this, negative 3 and, oops, right, let me say that again. Come on, right there, sorry, 3, negative 2. Sorry about that. 9, 3 in the first quadrant, and here, 8, negative 5. Now, um, we're going to take this blue triangle, my pre-image, and I'm going to rotate, or, nope, reflect it across y equals x. We remember the coordinate rule, AB will map to BA. So 3, negative 2, negative 2, 3. This 9, 3 will flip over to 3, 9. <laughs> Getting the hang of this. 8, negative 5, negative 5, 8. So far, nothing you haven't seen before. And we could draw that image right there. And we're going to refer to that. That's going to be our triangle B. You know, I kind of forgot this, but I like to draw this line first. If we're going to reflect over y equals x, we might as well draw it. And that's this line. Remember, it goes through the origin. You can look at it several ways. It has a slope of 1, or I like to say, it goes through these points. 5, 5, negative 4, negative 4, negative 9, negative 9, 10, 10, etc. So you all know that. Come on, you passed Algebra 1. You all know this line. So let's take this red triangle. That's the image of this reflection. And we're going to rotate it 90 degrees about this origin. Now, we have coordinate rules for that as well. A, B. We'll map over to the opposite of B, A. All right, remember, opposite, not negative. So let's take this one. Negative 2, 3. Well, how about... Negative 3, negative 2. Hey, I like the way that works. 3, 9, hmm. negative 9, 3. Thank God. Whoops, right there. That works out pretty good. Let me move this out of the way. And how about this one? Negative 5, 8. Hmm. Well, how about negative 8 and negative 5? Well, easy squeezy, as we like to say. So I'll say that's my second image, and you can actually see it. There you go. A little bit of a rotation here. Put the little tracers on there so you could follow it, follow that action, and you can see that that is triangle C. Now that looks like something out of the yeah, section 9.5, but um, let's mix it up a little bit, and let's, let's, um, let's reverse it. Well, I mean, reverse the order of this, these transformations. I'm going back to this pre-image. Now, there's a lot of clutter here, so I'm going to um, yeah, I'm going to just hide the, those coordinate points. You don't need them anymore. You can see where they are. Now, let's just take this blue triangle, and let's rotate this about the origin. Well, hang on a second. Here. Hmm. So now, AB maps to Again, opposite of B, A, well, 9, 3, hmm, negative 3, 9. 3, negative 2, well, that would be opposite of negative 2, positive 2, 2, 3. 8, negative 5, opposite of negative, that's going to be positive 5, 5, 8. That's going to be up, uh, let's just say, there. So, well, I guess I'll call this the purple triangle. This triangle is the rotation around the origin of triangle A. And let's, let's animate that. Oh, those pretty tracers again. So you could follow that action. I'm going to call that triangle Y. Okay. And let's take triangle Y, call it the purple triangle, and reflect it over the line Y equals X. Now we're going to this rule. Well, 2, 3 is going to flip over 2. Well, yeah, read 2. Got the hang of that. 5, 8. Well, that's going to be 8, 
5. Negative 3, 9. Well, I guess 9, negative 3. And you can see, well, let's make that one the brown triangle. And I'll refer to that as triangle Z. Yikes. And you can see that what we have here, now, clean it up a little, take out some of those coordinates. And you can see what's happened here. When I perform these two operations, the order makes a difference. I take the blue triangle. If I reflect it in y equals x, I get the red one. Rotate that to the green one. Change up that order. Check it out. The blue triangle is going to rotate over here. Triangle Y in purple. Take that image and reflect it for this different composite image. And the brown triangle, triangle Z, ends up there. Yikes. I guess we just demonstrated something here and that the order does matter in these transformations. That was a fun exercise. I, I hope you got something out of it, and I'm sure we'll be doing another.